Toongrin.com The Simpsons. Do I even have to give introductory context for them? It's the longest running animated series, it has created some of the most unforgettable characters, and has changed the state of the animated sitcom forever. But while nowadays The Simpsons popularity has become lukewarm, many asking when this behemoth of a series will be finally put to rest, I'm spending Christmas being nostalgic and looking at The Simpsons' very first appearance on TV. Before their very first appearance on TV on The Tracy Ullman Show. And that was their pilot, The Simpsons Roasting on an Open Fire, their first episode as well as their first Christmas special. To give a rundown of the events, we experience the simple lives of our up-and-coming middle-class family as they celebrate the holidays, which include attending school for Christmas plays, hanging lights, and shopping for presents. But Homer Simpson doesn't receive his Christmas bonus, and Marge has to spend their savings to remove a tattoo from Bart. And now it's a race for Homer to get the money to buy his kids Christmas presents so he doesn't ruin Christmas. Now seeing as this is a pilot and a Christmas special, I'll give you my thoughts on how it functions as both. Firstly, a good pilot for an episodic series should introduce us to the characters, the weekly formula, the tone of the story world, and overall should demonstrate a natural flow to its comedic writing and narrative. And The Simpsons does this with spades, but not to the greatest degree. I'm sure most of us can remember that the first season of The Simpsons weren't exactly the funniest, and definitely the roughest in animation with very little detailing in backgrounds and odd facial movements. However, I do think that the first seasons have something that the next seasons, for the most part, lack, and that's an emotional core. A core based around the family unit, and how even with a rambunctious homemaker, an overachieving daughter, a busybody mother, and a not too bright father, they can still come together as a family. A family to identify with and love. Sure, the future seasons have moments like that too, but Homer in the later seasons, I think we can all admit, he's really nothing more than just the exaggerated stereotype of the fat, lazy dad. While that Homer leads to more comedic possibility, can you really imagine season 24 Homer saying something like season 1 Homer can say? I can't really. Now this links directly into how I rate this as a Christmas special, as Homer is really the emotional heart of this episode. As Homer's twist of fate keeps bringing him worse and worse luck, this Homer doesn't whine comedically or any of that. He swallows his pride and does everything, and I mean everything he can to make his family's Christmas the best. This demonstrates a true father figure in Homer, a father who hates to let his family down. And you just hate it when he compares his Christmas luck with Ned Flanders. While the first seasons, I have to admit, were never the funniest, and there are many instances of weird coloring, odd outlining, and so on and so forth, I really do like the first season of The Simpsons a lot, because it demonstrates an emotional heart that I don't see in the later episodes, and the emotional heart translates beautifully into this Christmas special, showing us that even in our down and out times, we can still pull through and have ourselves a Merry Christmas. Why not be a little nostalgic this year and rewatch an old goodie from one of animation's favorite families?